every Wednesday at 7 a.m. for your new half-off hump day deal. Scott Sinkoff on 12 News, working for you. Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, Halloween is just a week away, but several organizations are already getting into the spooky spirit. We'll show you some fun events. Plus, some famous faces in Morgantown today. We'll tell you why they had people saying yes to the dress. Warmer temperatures like we saw today will continue tomorrow, but we do have a severe thunderstorm potential to look out for as well. Warn your full forecast is coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks so much for joining us. It was a pretty good Saturday weather-wise. We got to see some sunshine, but will the nice weather stick with us? Alex Bunn is standing by in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab to tell us more. Alex. I don't know if I have great news for you, but it is clear right now here in Clarksburg. Temperature is 64 here. It's feeling pretty comfortable outside. We saw some light rain passing through earlier, but that has cleared out. We see the rain dodging us for the most part right now. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s across the region, 69 over in Elkins, 65 in Morgantown, 71 in Weston along, 79 there. We do see some clouds in the sky, but it is dry for the most part. Throughout the rest of the evening, we can expect cloud cover to clear up a little bit and for rain to mostly miss us throughout the night. Temperatures will be dropping down to the mid-50s. Alex, now for the latest COVID-19 numbers in the state. The DHHR lists 2,660... 266,521 positive cases on its map today. The number of total active cases is now at 8,107. That's a 459 decrease from yesterday's numbers. Total recoveries are now listed as 254,151. The United Way of Mon and Preston counties held a spooky sprint 5K run and walk this morning at the Hazel Ruby McQuain Park in downtown Morgantown. The race started at the park and traveled south on the rail trail before finishing back at the starting line. Today's race was the first to be held in person as last year's spooky sprint was held virtually due to the pandemic. But people could participate virtually this year as well. Racers received a t-shirt, snacks, drinks, and a medal for their participation. It always makes me feel good to see people come out and support our agency because of the support that our agency provides to other programs and other agencies in the area. Um, I, I just love seeing people come out and support a good cause. The race helps raise money for the organization's 2022 campaign to support their 39 programs at 26 different agencies across Mon and Preston counties. Milan Park continued its Halloween-themed day with a monster splash at the Aquatic Center this afternoon. Children were invited to come out with their parents to the pool and swim with pumpkins in the water. Of course, the kids were allowed to take the pumpkin out of the water and home to decorate for Halloween next week. In addition to the swimming, there was a movie outside thanks to a partnership with Mon Health. The Nightmare Before Christmas played twice on the big screen across the street from the Aquatic Center throughout the afternoon for those that had enough time in the water. Triple S Harley Davidson in Morgantown held their annual trunk or treat at the motorcycle shop this afternoon. Superheroes, dinosaurs, and other characters lined up in the parking lot to get candy from several local organizations, including A Bait of West Virginia, 304 Jeep Club, the Morgantown Police Department, the Mon County Sheriff's Office, and even a visit from Evil Knievel. Attendees could also grab a bite to eat or a snow cone from vendors set up in the parking lot. After last year's trunk or treat was virtual, officials with Triple S were excited to be in person this year. I just love it, especially post COVID when we've all been cooped up in our homes and we haven't been able to be together in this capacity. Um, I just think it's wonderful that these kids can all get out and um, I think that they're probably happy about that because we've had kids running everywhere asking about candy and everything. So it's good. 
More than 200 trick-or-treaters attended the event, with officials hoping for more in-person participants next year. West Taylor Elementary invited residents to a fall market this afternoon. Craft and food vendors were lined up, each with a little treat for any trick-or-treaters that came by their booths. Along with the market, there was an introduction of the school's Raise the Roof campaign aimed to fund a roof along the sidewalk of the school's back entrance to shield students, parents, and teachers from the elements. They can walk out under the shelter and some of the teachers can stand under that shelter. And, and you know, some of those rainstorms are pretty strong and the wind is strong, so that will protect them. On top of all the pieces of the fall market, authors stop by the school to read to children throughout the afternoon. Brides to be were able to check out the latest trends in weddings today at the West Virginia Premier Wedding Expo. The expo, held in the historical Hotel Morgan, featured vendors from across North Central West Virginia offering their goods and services, as well as a fashion show for wedding dresses, bridesmaids, men's suits, and more. Monty Durham, the star of TLC's Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta and West Virginia native, was a special guest offering a VIP experience for brides and helping highlight the fashion show. We are a welcoming community, so we want people to come from all over the country to have their weddings here. And why not? We have the most beautiful mountains, we have fabulous facilities, and we have people who really care so much about their clientele that they strive to make sure that they get their dream. It's always good to come back home. And it, it's great to see so many people making such a great stride and the betterment of West Virginia. Let's all do the best we can. The West Virginia Premier Wedding Expo is held twice a year with the next one slated for February 2022. Coming up next on 12 News Weekend Edition, the supply chain crisis continues to put stress on ports around the world. Our NBC correspondent will have a closer look at a Greek port in Athens and how it's getting China closer to being the center of worldwide trade. Bet Rivers Online Casino is now playable in West Virginia. With live bingo, slots, table games, and a generous rewards program, Bet Rivers knows what casino players want. Play with the winner. Sign up at BetRivers.com today. With all that's going on, I think now is a great time for a smile break. I hope that gave you a smile. Stay well. Change. It's part of our world. Inspired by the love of Christ, 100 years ago, the Palatine Sisters brought quality health care to our community and changed our lives forever. Since then, St. Joseph's Hospital has innovated, progressed, transformed to provide the best medical care now and for future generations. This is St. Joseph's Hospital embracing change for 100 years and for years to come. Zero means zero at Star Furniture. With over 120,000 square feet of showroom, Star has something for everyone. Sofas, sectionals, and motion furniture, dining sets and bedrooms. Then pay zero sales tax, zero down payment, zero interest for 60 months. Find the perfect mattress for the way you sleep and save. And pay zero for delivery, zero for setup, and zero for removal of your old mattress. But there's zero time to waste. Zero means zero at Star Furniture. We know that your pet is a special member of your family. When it's time to say goodbye, call your friends at All Pets Cremation and Funeral Center. We help pet owners cremate, bury, and memorialize their beloved companions. Don't fight the insurance companies alone. The Miley Legal Group will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Visit MileyLegal.com today and get the tiger on your side. Working for you. This is 12 News Weekend Edition. Welcome back. As part of 
As part of NBC News' special coverage this week on China, correspondent Keir Simmons reports from the ancient city of Athens, where today a Greek port is a very modern symbol of a race for global dominance between U.S. and China. With the supply chain crisis putting a spotlight on ports around the world, China's outsized role in the global economy is front and center. We are in Greece, where a Chinese state-owned shipping company, Costco, owns a majority of this port, and business is booming. The port across Athens there is as ancient as the city itself. We weren't allowed to film at the port. Costco didn't respond to our request for an interview, so we took to the sea. A Chinese Costco ship is waiting to dock. Another is unloading. This port is one of many major infrastructure projects carried out by Chinese companies, always with the backing of Beijing. China's growing footprint here, a good thing to some. Pyreus today is the fastest growing port of the world, thanks to the volume and the management of Costco. But these Greek dock workers disagree. Costco has a greediness uh, to increase uh, profitability. And this is affecting our income, is affecting our rights, is affecting our safety. The Chinese have gained a Greek port, but they don't have Greek hearts. Yes. <laughs> Chinese companies have spent billions of dollars on ports like Piraeus in Peru, Djibouti, Sri Lanka, Pakistan and Israel, according to data compiled by conservative think tank AEI. And now Beijing is considering pouring state money into a major port in Iran. This is all about increasing global connectivity such that China is at the center of worldwide trade, financial and technology networks. Xi Jinping's vision is for a China-centric eastern hemisphere at the least and possibly for Chinese preeminence worldwide. Experts say the U.S. is offering no real competition for China when it comes to these ports worldwide. This is a story not just about Chinese activity, but about American inactivity. But today, China's global investments are under increasing scrutiny. Some, like the port in Greece, are lucrative and seem strategically smart. What Piraeus gives them is an entryway into Europe. But experts say many look like they could be bad business deals, with China facing economic problems of its own. Today's international shipping crisis will test China's global strategy as well as the world economy. Keir Simmons, NBC News, Athens, Greece. Now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Here in Clarksburg, we're seeing temperatures in the 60s, 64 right now, feeling comfortable outside, a little bit of clouds coming through, but dry more than we were seeing earlier when we saw some showers passing through. Temperatures across the rest of the region are in the 60s and 70s, 69 over in Elkin, 64 in Kingwood, 68 over in Weston. We see clouds passing through and showers to the north of us, but not hitting us for the most part, maybe a little bit over in Morgantown, but dry for the most part here. We do have a level two severe weather threat for tomorrow though beginning in the afternoon and continuing throughout the evening, meaning we're going to see strong gusts of winds, we might see a little bit of hail and flooding possibly. So be on the lookout for that and be safe if you're driving on the roads. And yeah, so severe shower and thunderstorm warning. Throughout the rest of the evening, temperatures will be dropping down into the 50s tonight. We're going to see mostly cloudy skies around 7 and then those will be clearing out a little bit for a more clear night towards to end our evening. We will be seeing gusty winds coming through, though, for the next couple days. Not really right now, but with the severe weather threat, those gusty winds will be coming through, and we'll be seeing 20, 30 mile per hour winds possible um, tomorrow and on Tuesday. So make sure that nothing blows away or anything like that. Low temperatures for tonight will be in the 50s, 53 down in Elkins, 
uh, 55 in Kingwood. Temperatures will be in the 50s across the region. A mostly calm night and pretty quiet. Maybe a few showers possible. For tomorrow, we are going to be seeing showers in the afternoon and the evening. Temperatures will be pretty warm, though, in the 70s, but lots of rain is expected. Our rain chances throughout the rest of the week will be highest tomorrow and high again on Friday. It's looking like our lowest chance of rain will be on Wednesday. Taking a look at our predictor, we're seeing it's showing a lot of rain here right now, but it's maybe just a few little light drizzles across the region. Tomorrow, rain will be coming in in the morning and passing through, getting heavier in the evening, clearing a little bit by Tuesday afternoon, but becoming um, stronger again in, on Friday. Temperatures are warm tonight and tomorrow, but will be in the 60s throughout the rest of the week. We do have shower chances ahead, but Wednesday is looking pretty clear. It's looking like Friday will be pretty rainy, though. All right. Thanks, Alex. We appreciate it. The Mountaineers with a big win yesterday in Fort Worth, Texas. Nick Farrell has the latest on how the Mountaineers are feeling in our Mountaineer Minute. For the first time in nearly two years, WVU football has earned a Big 12 victory on the road. Saturday's 29-17 win at TCU also marked West Virginia's first conference victory of the season and snapped a three-game losing streak. But at the beginning of the game, things seemed dicey. The Horned Frogs returned the opening kick for a touchdown, taking an immediate 7-0 lead. But head coach Neil Brown says the way the Mountaineers responded impacted the rest of the contest. But I thought we handled adversity, something we didn't do at Baylor. I, did, I, I never really thought we, we really bounced back from the two opening touchdown drives um, against Baylor. But I thought as a football team, you know, that we handled adversity much, much better. West Virginia will play its next two games at home starting Saturday against Iowa State. And in Big 12 women's soccer, West Virginia played Baylor to a scoreless draw today in Waco. The regular season finale for the Mountaineers is Thursday at Dick Dulesque Soccer Stadium. That's the latest on the Mountaineers. In Morgantown, I'm Nick Farrell. If you want roofing done right, we've got you covered. Right roofing, we've got you covered. Team up with Right Roofing, LLC. Your roof is more than just a decorative finish on top of your home or office. It's a large investment and protects your interior from the elements. If you need roof repairs or roof replacement services, make sure you choose a skilled roofing contractor for the job. Right Roofing, LLC is a roofing company in Buchanan, West Virginia, with extensive experience working with all types of materials. No matter what kind of roofing system you use, you can rely on us for quick, high-quality service. Ask for a free estimate on asphalt, rubber, or metal roofing services when you contact us today. First, there was Vegas, then Atlantic City. Now, your pocket. DraftKings has an online casino where you can play your favorite games whenever and wherever you want. Slots, blackjack, and more. New casino players can get a deposit bonus up to $2,000 plus free casino credits. Download the app or visit us online. Try DraftKings Casino today with our exclusive offer and experience the casino floor like never before. Common sense news for common sense people. These are the facts. You can formulate your own opinions. The rest of us really just want the news. We want the facts. We want to get on with our busy lives. Our job isn't to tell you how to think. It's not to give you our opinion. It's really just about show and tell, not pitch and sell. When we walk into this building every day, we check our opinions at the door. That is the mission, and I think that's what news for all of America means. From the top, music. Looking for a game that's thrilling? Why don't you come and join us? Completely unique. Well, super rewarding. I clean the mouth. And so easy you can win in a snap. Introducing the Adams Family Instant Tickets from the West Virginia Lottery. <laughs> With so many chances to win, it's spooky. What a lovely morning. Nice try. <laughs> What drives you? Shop Toyota for legendary safety and reliability. Toyota, let's go places. 
Toyota is the only automaker right here in West Virginia with a $1.6 billion investment, bringing home 1,700 jobs and over $270 million in payroll. So the next time you think of home and about making a difference, remember who the home team is, directly supporting our local economy. Go West Virginia. Go Toyota. And let's go places. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. Well, we're getting closer and closer to high school football playoffs. Every win matters, and we saw a lot of those on Friday night. Here's anything you might have missed. Starting in AAA, the top two teams in our area remain undefeated heading into Week 10. Seventh-ranked Bridgeport came out on top in a ranked versus ranked matchup. Indians win in dominant 42-7 fashion over fourth-ranked Princeton. Tyler Ferris and company rolling in at 7-0. Number five, University wins on the road at Preston. Another big win, 56-8. Hawks now 8-0 on the season. Knights fall to 0-8. Morgantown wins its second straight contest. Mohegans take home the victory over John Marshall, 33-7 the final score. They now set at 500 on the season. To AA, sixth-ranked Lincoln handles Liberty Harrison in a Harrison County battle, 34-14. Cougs in good standings at 6-1. Fairmont Senior falls to AAA-ranked Spring Valley, 21-0. Grafton, who's at the 14th spot in the class, takes down AAA opponent Buchanan Upshur. Bearcats take that game 47-17 and improve to 6-2. Number 8 North Marion blows out Oak Glen on the road 60-6, Huskies 6-1. Lewis County picks up its second win of the season over Phillip Barber, 52-21 the final score. East Fairmont falls in an intense back-and-forth game, 56-48 to Berkeley Springs. Bees 4-4 four four, heading into Week 10. Braxton County also wins its second contest of the year, a big 47-6 win over Webster County. Elkins falls to Frankfurt 53-0. Tigers still look for their first win of the season. And in single A, a ranked versus ranked game, number two Doddridge County beats double A number seven Roan County 44-16. Eight ranked Ritchie County takes down Work County 40-7. Rebs sit at 7-1. Nine-ranked Gilmer County pulls out a win over Tucker County 26-20. Trinity downs Tigers Valley 21-14. Warriors, who entered this game at the 12th spot, improved to 6-1. South Harrison drops its Week 9 game to St. Mary's 41-6. Catch all the action from the games that were played locally on our website, WBOI.com. The Catch of the Week is brought to you by Salem University. Built on tradition, focused on the future. Catch of the week time. Three of the best catches of the night from Friday. Let's see those hands. First one comes from the Bulldogs. Tigers Valley quarterback Lucas Bright looks for Garrett Gibson. He lays out for the one-handed grab. Wow, watch him extend out here to grab this flat pass in slow motion. Great catch there. Next one comes from down in Princeton. Bridgeport's Cam Cole hauls a pass, and Nate Lotsky makes the over-the-shoulder catch, stays on his feet here, and takes this one to the house. Now to Preston, UHS pass goes high. Logan Specht there to haul the INT in. Really nice play here by Preston. Time now for the Stan Kimeon Insurance Coverage of the Week. On to coverage of the week. Some great defensive plays this week. Which two rose to the top? Let's take a look. First coverage comes from Cougar Country. A huge duo play here. Easton Gibbs blocks the punt, and Nathan Swiger picks it up and takes this one to the house. What teamwork here by the Lincoln duo. And next, we have another from Tigers Valley. Same guy, actually, Garrett Gibson, with the interception here. Heroic effort by Gibson. And stay with us. We'll be back right after the break. Our freedoms are worth protecting and defending. That's why I joined the Army. But I didn't serve to see billionaires run our country. And when politicians make it harder to vote, I take it personally. Senator Manchin won't have it either. He won't let the old ways of Washington stop him from doing what's right. He's got a plan to crack down on corruption, end dark money, and secure our elections. Thank you, Senator. That's the kind of leadership we deserve. He really wants me to buy this gun. What's going to happen if I do?
that gun you bought, now two people are dead. Grandma, where are they taking her? Don't buy a gun for someone who can't. Sunday, better. You're right, Sunday's way better. Mm -hmm. oh, no, you can't have this. Mm. You've been fed. No, I'm sorry. For a limited time, get an $8.99 bundle featuring two Big Mac sandwiches or two crispy chicken sandwiches and a basket of fries. And pair it with a $1 any size soft drink. I decided to take over all sports. Because I'm here to announce the launching of my Caesars. the bells. Release the doves and put some respect on the season's name! For the best price, service, and selection on the world's number one selling farm tractor, shop our convenient location, exit 121 off I-79. Bridgeport's newest plant shop opened its doors this morning. Roaming Roots, located right on Main Street, celebrated the occasion by inviting local vendors to set up shop in the back of the store. Live music accompanied shoppers as they looked through crafts and produce. As for the store owner, Leslie Toothman already has a large selection of plants and she's looking to expand her collection. Imported plants and overseas, you just see beautiful things growing in nature that, you know, people around here would just die for to have in their homes or to, you know, have a piece of. With the grand opening behind her, Toothman is looking forward to having the community out for other events in November. Now, Alex is here for our final forecast. We're seeing dry conditions for most of us right now. Maybe a little bit of rain passing through Morgantown, but temperatures are in the 60s, mid-60s. 69 over in Elkins and 64 here in Clarksburg. We do have a severe weather threat for tomorrow, though, possible possibility in the afternoon and evening, so be mindful of that. Alrighty. Yeah. That's all the time we have. Good night, everyone. Good night.